Good morning, Sarah here, and I want to talk to you today about my hack number three on how to de-stress. Um, like I said in the title here, it's not something I do every day. It's something I use on very, very bad days because we all have them and we all need that one way to just forget about it and let it go. So today's um, hack is simply to take a hot soothing bath. Um, I know it sounds really simple and some of you may not have a bathtub, but you can accomplish the same thing in a hot shower. Um, just you have to alter it to make it work for you. Um, so what I do on those long days is I carve out a time. Hey Richie. Um, and I set it aside and I put music on, I light a candle, um, fill the bathtub, and I have um, new bath bombs that I got from my friend, Manhand Crafters, who's, um, you can link to her site in the comments. She makes homemade bombs. Um, I recently, I've got a few of them and I'm saving one to use on Sunday after my half marathon. Um, but I did want to try them before doing this live with you and I used a cucumber melon one the other day and I honestly still think it's like on my skin. I still think I smell like it. That's how good it is. Um, but you just drop it in the hot bath and you soak. You go up to about here. We don't want you to go any farther than like you should get your shoulders under the water but not too much farther. Um, we don't want you to drown because you get so relaxed because honestly I've fallen asleep or at least dozed off um, just to because I'm so relaxed and I'm just letting everything go um, you what else do you do you want to just make sure that you have quiet peace like I have to make sure that captain is either entertained with a bone or outside hanging with the landlord um, doing stuff so that and I know that I'm not going to be interrupted um, I don't use my phone for my music um, or I put the do not disturb on actually I do use it because that's all we really have that I can bring into the bathroom for music um, but you play something calm relaxing and you just forget about it and it's pretty cool um, got my notes over here I'm sorry um, a lot of people like to sip on their favorite drink uh, that can you know calm you down and kill two birds with one stone I know when I was a drinker I used to bring a beer with me into the shower um, just because it was relaxing it was my peace and quiet time and I got to have a drink so why not um, set up with your favorite glass of wine or um, Water, you know, water is always good when you're relaxing. That's why they give it to you when you go for massages. Um, you got to keep your body hydrated, especially when you're actually sitting in the tub and the heat is, you know, soaking some hydration out of you. And you don't want to stay in too long. Um, about 30 to 35 minutes is usually enough. But those are some hacks and or some tips on how to use this hack of soaking in a hot bath and. I'm actually so excited. I'm probably going to take one again tomorrow just as my rest day before the race and I'll probably do another one definitely Sunday after the race. But I have bath bombs for both of those days. I'm super excited. Um, what do you guys do in the bathtub to help you relax and don't get frisky or fresh. This is a child friendly um, live. And tomorrow is my last day of I'm mean, going to give you four hacks. Tomorrow is day four of the hacks and it is going to be um, my favorite hack is exercise because honestly that is what I do personally the most when I have a stressful day. I, I've i got tips for you to take a shower Taryn. Don't worry. They'll be in the uh, blog that will follow. But tomorrow is exercise day, so I get to tell you how exercise can help you relax and de-stress after a hard day. Um, I hope you will read.
today's blog and tune in tomorrow for my live on the final hack. I will talk to you then, guys. Have a great day.